Hi, how's everyone doing tonight? Simon from Ghost Raiders out on another investigation and then tonight I am joined with Helen. Now, <laughs> for anybody watching this video, um, most of you will probably remember Helen. Um, it's actually the first time that we've done an investigation together for probably two years, two and a half years. Um, but what we're doing tonight is something a little bit different. Um, it, it's, it's a bit of a theory based uh, investigation tonight and the theory is um, we're at a church in Sheffield and the church is called St Leonard's. Now they can't figure out, the, the, you know, the, the vicars of the parish, they can't figure out why their church is named after a French monk. Now, where this church is situated, and obviously it is dark, and if I could show you, I would, but literally over there, and not by a long shot, is Stocksbridge Bypass. And the theory is, is the, is the church named after the French monk, who is also the monk that has been seen on the bypass so we're going to see if we can get any communication um, with Leonard that's the name of the monk and find out if he is the same monk who um, is said to haunt Stocksbridge bypass this, this church also has um, a connection with Swift Nick Nevison who was a highwayman and there is a grave in here somewhere, it's not of his, but it is of his family, um, you know, like his parents. Um, we have had a look, but sadly it is dark and we're struggling to find it. Um, it's Swift Nick Nevison is the man who um, rode from Kent to York after committing a, a burglary and Later on down the line, Dick Turpin got accredited for it. Um, he He's the one that it has been accredited to when it actually wasn't Dick Turpin, it was Swift Nick Nevison. And he, he rode from Kent to York 200 miles in one day. And when he got to York, he said to the mayor, what is the time? And the, mayor, the mayor told him the time and that was his get out of jail free card. When the authorities arrested him and took him to court for the crime, he pulled the mayor in as a witness and said, well, you know, it couldn't have been him. He was here in York at this time and the, basically the authorities didn't think that you could ride 200 miles in one day on a horse. They thought it was impossible. He actually did it. Sadly, it wasn't accredited to him. It was accredited to Dick Turpin. Now, we are going to do a spirit box session here. We are going to base it, base it on Leonard, but if we do get Dick um, Swift, Nick Nevison come through, or um, anything of a highway nature, um, we will um, also be looking for, for them as well. Okay, so because we're in the church, um, there is a main road that runs past this church, so you will hear car noises, sadly. We can't do anything about that. It's not like we can put cones up and say you can't drive past uh, so you will hear car noises um, we do have a K2 meter out um, but what we're just going to do to start with is we're just going to do a, a spirit box session we're going to ask some questions and we're going to see if we can get anything in relations to either Swift Nick Nevison and uh, Leonard the, the French monk that is, uh, is the theory of obviously why is this church named after a French monk and is it the same monk that is said to haunt the Stocksbridge Bypass? So I'm going to turn the spirit box up and I'll take that Ellen. Thank you very much. Go. Go. Straight away go. Why do you want us to go? Wonder. Wonder. Come on, man. 
Good evening, spirits. My name is Simon. I'm joined by Helen. And we're trying to communicate with a French monk by the name of Leonard. Is, is there a monk called Leonard? And he's, is he the same monk that is said to haunt the Stocksbridge Bypass? We do come with the utmost love and respect. We mean you no harm whatsoever. All we want to do is to communicate for you to tell your story through this device. Now, obviously, this device to you will look strange and peculiar, but it just gives you a voice. And that is just for you to tell your side of the story. Are you the same monk that this church is named after that is said to haunt Stocksbridge Bypass? So Leonard, if you are here, would you like to communicate with us? No, 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 no. Crap. say it's crap. What, the story that Leonard is the monk that haunts the bypass is crap? Well, it is a theory. That is all that it is. Many, many people have alleged to have seen the monk on Stocksbridge Bypass. He appears at the side of the road, on the bridge. People have even seen him in the back of their cars and if they haven't actually seen him, they have smelt something really, really weird. I think you do exist because I did some research and I found a gentleman who, who believes that the monk does exist on Stocksbridge Bypass. Is there anything you'd like to say to us? Now, this is your first time with this box, Alan, so some, sometimes it does come across as a bit daunting, but when you listen back to some of the footage, you, you, you do hear the responses. You know, it would be just really, really good if you would be able to use this device to with all your energy to, to communicate clearly with us now so that we can hear your responses. Did, did you walk the path from Underbank Hall all the way to this church? You are what? Oi. I'm what? Oi. Oi. How many spirits are with us, please? Twenty. 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 Can you give us? Can you give us your names? If there's 20 spirits here, can one of you just tell us your name, who we're talking to, please?
Now we know that the church that is here now is recent and only dates back probably a couple of hundred years but it, it is said that there, there is a 12th century chapel that was built here before this church was built. Are you or do you have any connection to that chapel? Like I've said before and Helen has said, we aren't here to harm you. We only want to communicate with you. And we come with the utmost love and respect. To me sounds like London. I heard London. Are we Are we communicating with the family of Swift Nick Nevison? Swift Nick, who rode 200 miles from Kent to York in one day on a horse. Born in this town, his family are buried in this church. Maybe you can tell us where the grave is. We have had a look for the. We have had a look for it, but sadly, because it's dark and wet, we can't find it. Maybe you can tell us. Is it at the front of the church, to the back of the church, or to the side of the church? It's just back. Right. So, in theory, it, we we you you thought you heard that it said when we asked where the grave was, you thought you heard it say back. Now. Where our bags are is the back of the church. We have had a look there already. Sadly, like I said, it is dark. We've got torches with us. Uh, some of the graves are easily um, identifiable, some of them not. Um, I mean, do you fancy, uh, do you fancy having a, a look and seeing if uh, we can have another go? Yeah. Right, well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the spirit box off and uh, we'll come back to that at a later point in time. This is part of the problem. That would have been the front of the headstone and sadly that is totally eroded and worn away so there is no identifiable markings on that. So that could be potentially it but because it's eroded we don't know. Then we have obviously graves that are covered in grass and leaves where the names would be Spirits, if you want to use this device, this is a different, this is a different spirit box, the other one you might have been confused with. Him. Him. Is him, him from the church? No, him. Uh, H-I-M. Maybe you'd like to use this spirit box. Leonard? Yeah, be Leonard, if you are here. Please feel free to communicate using this device. Contact. 
Leonard, I have asked this question before, but I am going to ask it again. Are you the monk that is said to be seen on Scotch Bridge Bypass? I'm sure that just said what the fuck. Leonard, if it is, you've been seen many times by many people. I'm trying to keep the aerial down to cut out on bleed, bleed through. Do you believe that? You do believe what? What do you believe? Leonard, there are many myths and many rumours about you. If it, if, it, if it is you, some say that you weren't a nice man. How would you feel about all these stories about you? Some are good stories, some are not very nice stories. This is, this is your chance and your time to tell the truth. Use this device. Tell the truth. Were you a good man or a bad man? Are you responsible for scaring people on the Stocksbridge Bypass? Bizarre. That were a bit weird, wasn't it? Bizarre. Bizarre. Yes, there, is, there has even been TV programmes dedicated to you. Is this whole situation bizarre? Pine. Pine. Pine cones, or are you pining? Well, very true. Come on, Leonard. Business. Is it just your business and nobody else's? Quarter to. <coughs> Fifteen. Is that your age? Children. 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 We've had 15 come through on the spirit box and children. Now, is it 15 children or the age of the children? Or is there a child here who is 15? Is 15, could it be 1500? Well said. Did you say well said? Well said or well said? Well said? Oh, could be either. So you're... Are you from the 1500s? Yeah. Are you from the 1500s? Yeah. Are you from the 1500s? Like I have said, we come with peace, love and respect and we mean you no harm whatsoever. turn this off spirits but thank you if you have thank you for communicating with us thank you okay bit of a bit of an odd one isn't it mm. um I've, Interesting. Oh, there's children's graves though isn't there there are children's graves on sort of the back wall um up towards that tree and beyond uh, um maybe it was 15 graves or 15 children we don't okay. know um 
what's your opinion so far on Night Ellen? I mean, we've had London when we were referring to Swift Nick Nevison. Um, in regards to the monk, I think he's quite elusive myself. Yeah. I do. I think the monk's quite elusive. Right. Um, whether or not we're going to be lucky enough to get some validation of him. I don't know. Yeah, not not here maybe. Yeah. We might have, we might have, we could possibly have had some validation on the spirit boxes. Yeah. We've just not heard it. Yeah. Um, but um, possibly if we go to Stocksbridge Bypass and park on the bridge, maybe we can get some clarification. We can get some clarification there. Yeah, yeah, that's a possibility. Right, okay, so we've done about 45 minutes worth of filming here. Um, we have had mixed results, um, I will say. Again, this is only a theory. We cannot, obviously, 100% say that the monk that this church is named after is the same monk that haunts the Stockbridge Bypass. We can't, we don't know. All we're trying to do is we're trying to figure it out through, obviously, using the equipment that we've got. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're just going to travel the five ten minutes in the car to excuse me my arm is starting to shake to Stocksbridge bypass we're going to park on the bridge and um, the problem with the bridge is obviously it overruns the um, Stocksbridge bypass and that is a lot of cars that use that bypass to go to and from Manchester to Sheffield and to the motorway um, so I think what we will do is sit in the car but with the spirit box on the bridge and see if we can sort of get some validation um, from that end and see if uh, we can make communication with Leonard. Speaker on, 12587 on. Hello spirits. We are parked on the bridge on Stocksbridge Bypass and we are trying to communicate with the monk who we may believe is called Leonard. If Leonard is your name, can you please say Leonard through the spirit box? Leonard is the church built in the village that we've just come from, named after you. Well, the problem with the, where we are is that we are in a valley, so if we actually are signal isn't the best. I often dream. Come on monk, if you are here, please use this device to talk to us. Do you like all this mystery that surrounds you? We've heard that some, some people say that you're bad, some people say that you're good. Are you bad or you're good? What is making you... Sorry, I was oh. going to say something. I was just going to ask. How old are you? What's your age? Thailand. Thailand. <laughs> what 
Is is it is it the burial path that runs from Stocksbridge up these hills? Is it that that you walk on? Is it the road has cut through the burial path? And that is why you are seen here on this bridge. If um, it's still scanning behind me um, in sort of that direction, there is um, a row of houses. Um, I know that because my auntie used to live there. And at the back of them houses, on on the um, on the on the maps. Um, Royal Ordnance map, uh, Ordnance maps. There is um, a burial path, and obviously it would have come this way. So, has the bypass disturbed your route? Are you angry at that? Is that why you haunt this bridge? See, a lot of people say that um, although it's changed from when the monk was alive, yeah. in his in his energy, he still sees it. He as still it sees it as it what, what it already was. Mm. Yeah. So he's just basically reenacting his yep. routine. Yeah. Day Everything's day. the same for him. He, same. he probably. Obviously knows this changes, but that's his. That's what he sees. That's what he does. Right. Are you able to appear for us now? Would you like to make an appearance? Unsure. I use this road on a daily basis to go to and from work. I have never, ever, ever seen you. But there have been claims and numerous claims by other people that have, that have either seen you or had a pungent smell in the back of their car. They've even wrote a book about you. And people have given evidence about their experiences that they've had with you. There was even a TV documentary about you. I've often wondered if he walks, the path that he walks, he must do it every day. Mm. So his path must never change. It must be the same, you know, like Groundhog Day type of thing. Yeah. It must be the same path. Mm. Well, Wortley, uh, Wortley is, you're not going to see Wortley, it's dark, but Wortley is sort of, where my finger's pointing over in that direction, I... Uh, uh, Penniston is over in that direction and the burial path would have come up here across where the bypass is and gone one of the ways I think it would have gone I think it would have gone to a mother a mother church and I think Penniston was a mother church um, Underbank Hall is behind you Helen okay and from Underbank Hall, there is on the bend where Underbank Hall is, is, there is a road that goes to some buildings, but they are in line with the um, with the bypass, and they would, if you were to follow the road, come out sort of the top side of this bridge, in in where that pylon is, um, where we've we have actually stood before. I mean, this isn't the first time that me and Helen have been here. Uh, we've been here before. Um, now. I don't know how. Uh, sadly, I, I I don't know how how old the hole is. But is it is it possible? Because there has also been a mysterious black figure seen at the, on the corner where the hole, where the underbank hall is. So is the mysterious black figure the same figure? Is it the monk? And is he walking from the hall where he could have possibly could have could have been something there at the time he could have worked there and is he using that path that comes out here um, to get to a burial path um, we don't know um, sadly we don't know um, spirit box tonight I don't know 
I've been sat here and I've been trying to listen to the spirit box and I've not heard really anything come through that's mainly sort of said, uh, yeah, that that's what it is. Yeah. Um, you know, we've not got any definitive, definitive yes or no answers in regards to is the monk the same monk as the church is named after? At one point, it was the monk has obviously been really, really active. Mm. At, at, at a certain point, because all these sightings that were seen, the book that was wrote, um, and the names that's in the book, um, and I did a lot of research, and I narrowed it down to three people, um, and out of the three people, one of them had actually had the experience with the monk. Mm. He actually witnessed and saw this monk. Mm. But we're talking a long, you know, quite a few years ago, and... He wouldn't. He wouldn't talk about it. Well, the monk was the monk appeared. If if memory serves me correct, the monk appeared as this bypass was being built, because security that were guarding the bypass um, construction areas saw the monk. Yeah. The police were called That's in. Right, yeah. They saw the monk. You know. So you've got. Pillars of the, you know, police, upstanding pillars of the community, for want of a word, you know, witnessing this. So, you know. But then, you th if you think about it, before before Stocksbridge Bypass was actually built, this was just his normal routine. The mm. monk, mm. to and fro, in, to and fro. In. Next mm. minute, everything's changing. Mm. There's going to be a lot of activity because there's going to be a lot of people around. So, to him. It's, it's nothing. No, it's nothing out of out of norm. But it obviously was with the other people that actually witnessed the monk. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. But then all of a sudden, like these, the, I don't think there's been many sightings since. No. So I I use I use this road on a daily basis when I go to work. Never ever ever have I ever seen anything. Never. I mean, it could have all been strange for him. He's seen all these roads being built and everything else like that. You mm. know what I mean? And. Mm. Nobody's probably ever seen him, mm. and obviously all this activity's just come all at once because of all the changes. Mm. So he's he stood there. He might not even realise that people can actually see him. Mm. Yeah, he's you just. Know, you've, you've got to they see the bigger picture. It's you know what I mean. Yeah, he's doing his daily routine. He's just doing his daily routine, and the yeah. next minute he's got all these people like, and they're all saying, "Oh, I've seen a monk. I've seen a monk." Mm. Yeah, very but, true. Uh, and again, it's the, it's the stories that he was a good monk. Was he a bad monk? You know, mm. he could. He's, monk don't monks take the vow of silence? Uh, I, I don't know if they all do. I know certain so, orders of monks do take vows of silence. Again, don't quote me. Um, you know, um, bit of research for your uh, for your fans to do there. Yeah. Yes. Um, and no doubt some will. <laughs> because if he has took the vow of silence, he's not going to communicate, is he? No, not at all. Um, so, yeah. So, questions. Has the monk taken the vow of silence and maybe he's unable to communicate with us? Maybe he thinks he's still going around his daily routine um, of travelling the roads from the burial paths around here. Um, going about his daily routine and he can't talk so we're not going to get any communications from him um, I mean did, did it, is, is Leonard the same monk we will, have, we will have to listen back to the spirit boxes that we've done tonight um, and see if there's any relevant responses on there in regarding um, Leonard the church Stocksbridge bypass but like Helen has just said if he has taken a vow of silence then there shouldn't be anything on there uh, I'd like obviously to thank Helen for coming out tonight with me you're welcome uh, it's been a blast um, first time filming in two and a half years yeah. Yeah. if you like share and subscribe and if you like the video give it a thumbs up and we will catch you on the next one